gonna put this sucker down. Okay, we're gonna twist your hand. Yep, yep, you got it? Got it, got okay, it. One, two, three, we're gonna switch it over. You got it, you got it. Yeah. There you go, babe. Look at you, you poor little Okay, it doesn't have to be funny. Oh my god, we're done this way. Okay, there was we were doing a camping show without our eco warrior, Julia Green, who is a camper. Like, she's a camper camper, and when she camps, she camps. Yes. And I'm saying, you can camp for 50 days in a row. <laughs> How do you camp um, for 50 days in a row? Okay, personally, I have not quite hit that on my bucket list, but it is part of my bucket list. Okay. But I am a good canoe tripper. So, Amazing. I mean, depending, if you were doing a three-day, a one-week, a two-week, or even up to a 50-day trip, yeah. the principles for camping are pretty much the same. Okay, they're yeah. pretty much the same, but yeah. there are a few things you need to know. Yes. There are a few tools you need to have. There's yeah. some equipment you yeah. need to gather. Yeah. Let's <laughs> talk about that. Yeah, exactly. Well, first of all, kind of like rule of thumb, I always have like super little rules, is like location. You yes. need to know where you're going. You don't just jump in a canoe and go, hey honey, let's go for 30 days. Like <laughs> You need to know where you're going. Yeah. Uh, you want to make sure your campsites, that you never get there after dark. It is awful trying to put this together, untake the, uh, you know, it was just awful, yeah, awful, yeah, yeah, awful. Yeah, yeah. And then the other thing is just sort of get, gauging how far you want to paddle in a day, right? Do you want to paddle two hours, three hours, plan all of that. Minutes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 15 to 20 exactly. minutes, man. But you plan all that before you go, <laughs> right? Okay. And so you also say it's good to have someone who's done the route. This is key. You don't know what the route looks no. like. No, you know what? They have so many maps and guides. Yeah. And they'll be like, yes, it's a two kilometer portage, which a portage is when you're carrying the canoe over. Like we just did. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But they forgot to mention it's two kilometers uphill. Yeah. So when you talk to someone who's done the trip, it's yeah. really, really helpful. Okay, okay good stuff. So, so you've done the research, you've talked talk to someone that. who knows. Yes. We gotta talk about stuff like food and yeah. gear. Yeah, well, you know, you need gotta food. Eat. You gotta eat. There are two things. Eating is number yeah. One on a canoe trip, and the other one is keeping things dry. Yes. Okay, so you're gonna have to pack light because yeah. you gotta think about everything needs to be brought with you, right? Yeah. You're always carrying it. So you wanna make sure you've got dry sacks. These okay. are dry sacks. This is what they look like. You put in here your clothes, your. Oh, yeah, so oh, they, and yeah. They, so if they fall out of the canoe, everything will stay dry in them, okay? That's so great. that is really key. So everything's in that canoe, huh? Yeah, everything has to be in the canoe and be able to carry on your back. Yeah. So I want to show you over here. Do you see hanging here mm. from the tree? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like, like a kegger. I, well, it could be way more fun. <laughs> but I'd like you to think of that as your kitchen of the wild. Okay? <laughs> That's so that is, classy. Isn't it? Yeah. It is a food barrel. Some people call it a bear barrel. Yes. And basically it has all of your food for your trip mm -hmm. and all of your kitchen supplies. Now the key, Tracy, is you have to hang it every night at the campsite. Every because night. Every night. If you do not, yeah. you will find a bear. That's why they call it a bear barrel. Yeah. So it seals really tight. Tight, and then mm. tricks to hanging it on a tree. Make sure it is six feet out from the trunk because bears can climb and oh, at least six true. feet off the ground because he can stand and grab. Have, have you ever seen that? Yeah. They're oh, like batting yes. around. They're oh, batting what? around. Yeah, that, that is the truth. I have seen my husband's oh, like, my oh, gosh. you're lying, Julia. No, I have seen that for sure. Okay, very okay, good. So what's going to be in that food barrel? First yeah. of all is like your kitchen stuff. This yeah. is one of the most amazing little things. This is a tiny little stove. Oh. And most of on a canoe trip, every Everything revolves around the ca the campfire, yes. right? But on days like today, you may just want to have, you know, be able to do a quick stove, yeah. light it, and then you can do your own little stuff. Cute. And coffee, right? Really quick Incredibly like that. Incredibly important. Right? That is so cute. You do individual servings? Yes, okay. exactly. And the other really one, Tracy, is water, okay? Yes. You're not carrying any Evian bottles of water no, on your canoe. Not. You're not. You're <laughs> surrounded by water. Yeah. So you want to make sure you've got a water filter with you. Oh. So you can literally filter the water directly from the lake, yes. keep it in into a water bottle, yeah. and then you can have your coffee and all of that stuff. You make sure you've got that. Water sure. is crucial. What do we have over here? Okay, so this is the big thing, the fresh food, right? So the right. fresh food is what goes first, yeah. right? Yeah. You're going to pack any meat, you'll pack it frozen, okay. and the minute that meat thaws, stop those canoes! Eat. Get that fire! Cook right? It. And so finding things that you can carry that are amazing. Like, these are phenomenal. These are the Mama Chia. I don't know if you've ever tried these. Chia that squeezed is the, green magic. It, they never had these when I was a camper, but yeah. these are awesome because it's like a vegetable and a fruit serving. You can eat these while you're canoeing. Oh. Awesome. I found these ones at well.ca. They're so amazing. Obviously, though, in. Trace, you got to bring your packaging home with you. Yes, you right? do. Taking all Take of that. Take it all back. You can get dehydrated. This is one of my personal favorites. Yeah. This is the um, Pad Thai, for the record. <laughs> I bought this in 2018 and expires in 2015. Uh, sorry, <gasps> 2025. 
So it's what, dehydrated? It's dehydrated, or? man. We can go to the moon with this. Whoa. <laughs> that's so some pad time this in there. Is it. You want to have the dehydrated stuff as yes. you're going along because it's lightweight and it lasts forever, the shelf life forever. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Okay, so, so you also uh, do cook up your own recipes yes. when you're on the go and okay. you're portaging. Yeah. I love it. Now that you portage portaging. once, you think you're just the portage. Just portage. <laughs> so what are we making okay, here? Okay, so this is another make? campfire staple. So what uh -huh. we've got here is bannock, which mm. is, I call it campfire bread. Yeah. So it's su super easy. It's basically flour, water, and you can make it in a bag like this, put it on the open fire. Mm. But this is the new it's trend. Really good. It's not, it is good, actually. <laughs> it's maybe a bit cold. Oh, but okay. this is the new trendy thing. Believe it or not, this is hummus. Mm -hmm. So it's dehydrated hummus. Mm. Okay? So, so you, you make it. I made it, man. And it's going to last for a year. Okay. So you put it in here. A year? It does. It does. Oh. <laughs> okay, now we're going to add a bit of water and you're going to stir it. Drinking. And you're going to watch this rehydrate and okay. you're going to wish that we had some veggies and you're just going to keep going and it's going to come back to life. So this is the idea. Come on, hummus. You got it Look in at you. It. Look at it. Coming oh, back. It's coming. It's, it's coming. coming. It's, it's doing, doing its it. thing. And then I always have a little thing of olive oil. Of course you, you do. do. Just to give it some good Look flavor. Look at our classy meal. Look at this, right? So then you take your bread, uh -huh. you dip it in your hummus. You, Oh. Okay, no, come on, tell me the truth. It's not that bad. I ate my hair. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. It is, isn't it? No. Can't go. Right. 